Well, next, let's talk about the CAP program, or rather, the MAP program now. Yeah. Um, what do you expect to get out of expanding the quotas and kind of adding the availability to shore commands as well to cap the, map their sailors? Well, I, I think first and foremost, this is another uh, demonstration of our desire to want to put more authority back to the COs and the triads at the local level. Nobody knows their sailors better than our COs in the fleet, our command master chiefs and the chiefs mess in the fleet. We want to give them more opportunity to recognize the best of the best inside their units uh, by expanding uh, the, the opportunity to meritoriously advanced sailors. Uh, we have also heard from multiple units uh, and COs around the fleet that uh, you know all of our great sailors aren't only at sea. Now, we have some great sailors ashore who deserve the opportunity to be recognized this way too. So the secretary has, uh, has uh, and you read about it and he spoke about it in Annapolis, he said hey let's expand this, uh, let's do it in a measured way uh, but I want to open it up to not only sea but shore commands as well. So we are working now to figure out the numbers and make sure that we do this smartly and continue to be fair across the majority of our of our force